part two of AFIN 111 subdivision analysis. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that I need to do is I want to load this uh, file. So, uh, so let's, let's make a variable. I'm going to call it AFIN again. AFIN equals load JSON, AFIN 111.json. And I just want to see that that worked. I'm going to say console.log AFIN. Okay, so we're starting up, and I just want to see, great. So we can see that that list has been loaded, which is wonderful. Now the next thing I need is I want to have <coughs> a place. So let's add some stuff here, uh, AFIN sentiment demo. Uh, let's say uh, type here and make a text area um, oops, like this, text area uh, ID equals uh, text, text area. Okay, so now I should have on the HTML page, we should see, whoops, I definitely did something wrong. Text area, text area. There we go. Okay, so we should see, oh, a global function text because your code has already used it. So I think that's a bad idea to, uh, so let's call this txt. Okay, so we can see here that, um, now how do I, by the way, with text area, I kind of just want it to already start as like a slightly bigger thing, which is kind of unnecessary. I'm going to say columns equals 50. So that's good. Um, and rows equals 10. Okay, so now I can, the idea here is that what I want to do is as I type here, I am happy, how are you? What I want to do is I want to live calculate the sentiment of this text and have it appear below, even as I press every single key. So first I need to bind some sort of event. So I need an event for every time I type into this text area. So first of all, I need access to this text area in JavaScript, and I can do that with the select function. If I were in jQuery, I'd use that dollar sign thing or document.getElementById and with regular JavaScript. Um, so I called ID was txt. So what I need to do is say um, var uh, txt equals select by the ID txt. And then the event that I want to track is called an input event. There's a changed event. There's a change event and an input event. It's a little weird in, in, in the browser. The changed event is only if I hit like enter or tab, if I like finished my action, but the input event happens anytime I press a key at all. So text.input, um, I'm gonna call this event typing, and I'm gonna say now function typing, and I'm just gonna say console.log txt.value. So what I wanna see is, as I'm typing, I just wanna see that I have access to the words that are in what I'm typing. Okay, so let's refresh this and say hello, how are you, and you can see that this is working, that as I type what I'm typing, every time I hit a key, it comes out in the console there, okay? So that's perfect, that's what I want. Now I can start to calculate the sentiment score. So uh, what should I, how should I calculate the sentiment score? The first thing I need to do is split up the text by words, and I can use a regular expression, see my videos about regular expressions using the split function. So I'm gonna say var, I'm gonna say tokens, I'm gonna say words. Words equals txt.split, and then I want to split by a regular expression. And a regular expression in JavaScript is a string, like a se sequence of characters that goes between forward slashes rather than between quotes, and it defines a pattern in the text. And I have a whole set of videos all about regular expressions. What well, the pattern is, what separates the words? So white space, commas, periods, punctuation, white space, that sort of thing. Basically, I'm gonna do something kind of silly and simple here. I'm gonna say anything that's not a uh, letter or number. And so there's, um, I can actually just say backslash W. So this is slash W is any letter or number and backslash capital W is any non-letter, non-number. And I could also say, maybe I should say or an apostrophe. Oh no, but that's included. No, and I should have let it be or not, anyway, whatever. <laughs> this will be good enough for now. You can, there's, you can spend your life to, to trying to define the best regular expression for splitting, <laughs> tokenizing uh, a sentence into words or words, a paragraph into, sen into sentences or essay into paragraphs, all that sort of thing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do that. 
And then I'm just going to see that this works. I'm going to say console.log words just to check that. Hello, oh, txt.split is not a function. Well, of course it's not a function because uh, uh, txt, oh, I, I can't come up with variable names. Uh, uh, um, word, ah, text input, fine, equals txt.value. So I want to get the value. That's the, the contents, and then I need to split that. So that's good that I checked that. And now I'm going to say, hello, this is a test. So you can see, as I type, it's splitting up into an array of words. Perfect. So now I need to iterate over that array of words. So I need to say for var i equals 0, i is less than words.length i plus plus. Now here's something that's important. Let's go back to our AFIN 111 list. Notice something here. All of these words are entirely lowercase. There is not a single uppercase letter in this particular word list. So one thing I definitely want to do is when I'm in my code, the first thing I want to do is say word equals words index i dot two lowercase. Because when I look up to see what its score is, I need a lowercase word. So now, now that I've done that, then I want to say, um, does, does that word exist? So uh, um, if a fin word, like does it exist? Now I could use this has, I should probably use the has own property thing. So this is me asking, like this will, if, let's say the word is cat. If cat is in the AFIN word list, I'm going to get the score for cat, like three. Maybe kitten would be like four. I don't know. Maybe cats and kittens, they're equal. I love, anyway, what am I talking about? I'm so worried about offending words and with their positive negative score. <laughs> it's a very strange personality I have. Okay, but there was a point to what I was saying, which is that, um, <laughs> that, ah, right, if cat exists, I'll get the score, like four. If it doesn't, I'll get undefined, which will evaluate to false. But there's a weird sort of issue here. Like sometimes like there might be like some built-in JavaScript properties that happen to have the same word as a word in the, in the essay. So to be 100% sure, I can say has own property. This will evaluate to true or false if word is a particular property of this list that I've developed that's not part of the sort of JavaScript object thingy language itself, whatever. Okay, so if it does, First of all, I need to say score equals zero. I can say score plus equals afin word. So now I can look up the score and add it. And then what I'm going to do is uh, let's, let's add a little uh, area um, for results. I'm going to say PID equals uh, score. Uh, and let's, I'm going to add some things. P score, uh, comparative. And uh, what else? Uh, maybe I'll do a word list just so we can see everything on the page. So, okay, so I'm, I added three paragraphs because I want to like report some information on the page. So the first thing I can do now in JavaScript here is say, um, I can say var uh, score p equals select score and then say score p dot html is the score. This is sort of, uh, there's better ways I could do this, but this will work just fine. Uh, comparative, select comparative. Uh, and then the comparative is the score divided by uh, words.length. So the score divided by the number of words in the file. And then also maybe um, uh, word list, select word list. And word list HTML. Oh, I'm not saving the words. So let's make a list. Uh, uh, um, so let's uh, let's make a list. We'll call it uh, scored words, and it's an empty array. And if I ever find one of those, I'm going to say scored words dot push the word. Oh, and maybe colon its uh, score, something like that. So, you know, this, I'm not being very thoughtful about the design of the display of the results, um, but comparative, okay? But let's see if this works. Uh, hello, 
Oh, uncaught reference error. Score words is not defined. Scored words. Scored words. Uh, and, oh, scored words. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's try this. So, okay, uh, let's try typing. I love kittens and rainbows. Also, unicorns and the color purple and pink and red and green and blue. I am happy. So, so very, very happy and joyful. <laughs> so you can see, oh, some, a couple things are wrong here. <laughs> this is not at all correct. <laughs> so what's happening here? It's getting the information from the, um, it's getting the information from the JSON file and it's adding those numbers together. It's saying 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 33333. Three, three, three. So it's not adding them as numbers. It thinks everything is a string, which is also why I'm getting some goofy results here. Um, so one thing that I need to do here is um, make sure that when I get that score, I convert it to a number. So let's fix that, right? That, that score that's coming out of the word list, I need to convert it to a number. Uh, I should have just uh, happy, sad, not so sad, but not so happy. <laughs> happy and joyful and full of scared fear for um, things that scream and monsters, but I like <laughs> Am I still recording a video tutorial or did I just become hypnotized by my weird nonsensical typing? So you can see I'm now getting, now I'm seeing some weird stuff going on here, which might just be the fact that I'm not being very thoughtful about how I display the information. Um, but let's do some more tests here. Uh, if I say sad, okay, that works exactly what I would expect. Let me move this over here. Right? I got a total score of negative two. Comparative is negative two because it's negative two divided by one word total. If I say happy, right? Okay, so this is working. Um, and abandon, I remember, was in there is negative one. So it's just the formatting. So what? So we're really done. Um, I could copy and paste some text. Like um, I don't know if I go to uh, kittens Wikipedia. Uh, let's get some text about kittens. and see what happens if I paste it in here. Uh, we can see uh, I got a score of four, comparative of 0 0.04, this is positive text. Uh, the the uh, words that I got were solid and enjoy. I should get a score of six. So something is wrong here, right? What did I forget? I made a, there's a bug in my code. Uh, oh, I put the score, uh, once again, I'm conflating the total score and the individual word score. So I should really, if I want to be thoughtful about this, boy, I'm, I'm terrible at this sort of stuff. <laughs> I should really say var score equals, so I don't think it was that at all. I think it was, this was my problem all along. So I want to make sure I have a difference between the individual words score and the actual total score that I'm adding up. And so this is the total score and this is the total score and the, in the things that I'm putting into the list um, just to add some padding here for formatting. Um, now, happy, sad, this is better, yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so there we go. You can see now I have real-time sentiment analysis where I could be much, you know, if you're watching this video, if you're going to make something with this, you could be so much more thoughtful in terms of how you display the results, whether it's color or visualization, formatting the numbers nicely, formatting the list of words in a different way, but you have the basic framework for it here. I will show you that there is a major issue with this particular approach. Um, okay, so here's a particular issue. Here is my text that I am going to type right now. I am not sad. I am not at all unhappy. I am not feeling worse today. 
So you can see I've got a really, really negative score of negative six, even though I said I'm not sad. I am not at all unhappy. I am not feeling worse today. Because this particular technique is only looking at the raw counts of words and those scores. If I wanted to be a little more thoughtful about this, I could try to add a little bit of natural language processing. For example, the JavaScript library NLP compromise that I demonstrated um, can look for um, if a statement is a negation and you could perhaps invert the score. And then of course I could use a more sophisticated training um, methodology of actually not using a word list but having a machine learning system learn about positive text, learn about negative text, based on just word frequencies and words being next to each other and that sort of thing in a much more open-ended way. But this hopefully should get you started on something. If you're interested in text analysis and how you might apply this to uh, what type of data source and how you might show the result or how you might create an interface for people to type into and give us some information back. Okay, um, so uh, in the chat, um, Garav writes, you must be sad, that's why you are insisting on it very much. And you know what, I think maybe this is a smarter sentiment analysis um, technique that I, that I knew because maybe it can read in between the lines. Okay, thanks very much for watching this sentiment analysis uh, video and I'll see you um, in other videos in the future perhaps.